just look at somebody and say this really, uh, really strong and urgent. Say, I'm watching for my double. I'm watching for my double. That's it. Say it again. I'm watching for my double. Amen. Say it again. I'm watching for my double. Now, what God is getting ready to give you is going to take you to watch for it. Amen. What God is getting ready to loose to you is going to take you to see it. Amen. Amen. And he's going to take you. Amen. He wants you to understand that it has happened and that you got to call it out now. Can you shout, I'm watching for my double. If you don't have it yet, you will in a minute. You may be seated in God's holy presence. I'm watching for my double. Oh God, thank you for this word. It's too many people sleeping and they double is getting by you. Tell your neighbor, say, the reason why you ain't got the double you promised because you were asleep. Because there was a stipulation in the word of God. If you see me, come on. If you see me, you'll get it. But if you don't, you won't get it. I need somebody right now that's in a watchful position that can lift your hand and shout, I'm watching for my double because, amen, probably the reason why I didn't see my blessings is because I wasn't watching. And it just swooped. Oh Lord, help me. I don't know if you got that yet. If I stop preaching right there, that was word. Right. I'm watching. I'm watching. For my double. Look at that scripture. And you see what's going on here. I like the way it started off in the beginning. And usually a lot of times we'll go charging right into that point where they're getting ready to see that double portion miracle. But before that double portion miracle came in, amen, you got to understand there was a setup happening. And there was a, a couple of things. Somebody said, there's things you need to do before you get your double. Hey, you need to do before you get your double. Amen. Yes, Lord. Say it again. There's some stuff you need to do before you get your double. There's some things you need to uh, 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 hear before you get your double. There is some places you need to go in the spirit before you get your double. So I came to tell you I'm watching for my double. Now, if I take my eye off the prize and if I take my eye off the scene, amen, I just might miss my double portion. So here's the era where God is getting ready to take Elijah. God going to just take him. Amen. Elijah said to Elijah, he said, you wait right here. And I like the way the, uh, 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 the message Bible said, he was telling him, you wait right here because I'm getting ready to go over to Bethel. But you stay right here. And Elijah said, I don't think so. <laughs> Basically, Elijah said, I don't, I don't think, think so. And see, God is looking for somebody that will learn how to stick with your, with your leader. Really, really stick with him. Amen. Because see, a lot of times you're missing out on something because you're just not sticking there. He said, you wait right here. He said, I ain't waiting. No. He said, now, nah, now, nah, now, nah. I know he's very respectful of him, but you're not going to make me stay over here. Why you going over to Bethel? I'm going too. Can I get a praise and lift your hand and say, I'm going to Bethel too? I'm going to Bethel too. He told him, you tarry means the way. You, you tarry right here. Uh, Amen. I hear you. I, and the Lord is sending me to Bethel. Elijah said, mm -mm. as the Lord liveth and as my soul liveth, I will not leave you. So they went down. They. Somebody shout, so they went. Amen. Come on, shout, so they, they went. Come on. Amen. Uh, uh, him being a prophet, him dealing with the sons of the prophet, him going to another place in the spirit realm, he knew what kind of power he was working around. And so, amen, how many know there are some people that don't want to miss out on what God is getting ready to do, so they want to just kind of hang close. I mean, you're not going to leave me over here while I'm trying to come on in here. I'm going to watch and see what the good hand of God is getting ready to do. Somebody shout, I'm watching for my double. You're going to have to shout that out. Shout, I'm watching for my double. He said, no, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to stay here. I'm going with you to Bethel. So they both went down. The sons and the sons of the prophet were at Bethel that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him. And look, they coming right away. First of all, the sons of the prophet, uh, uh, they appear to have been primarily located in these three areas, Gilgal, Bethel, 
amen, in Jericho. This is where the sons of the prophets were. And if you notice, these are the three places uh, that Elijah was mandated to go. And there was a reason why he had to go, amen, where the sons of the prophet were. Come on, shout, those were sons. Those were sons. Those were sons, young men that he was teaching, amen. So you don't just, you don't just walk away and leave folks you've been teaching stranded, amen. He knows he's getting ready to go, so he probably went to go and let them know, y'all, listen, I'm going to be gone, amen. I'm getting ready to be taken out of here, and I want to introduce you and let you understand that this is the man that's going to be next in my spot. Uh -huh. Somebody say glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. So he wanted, he, he wanted the communities to be encouraged. You know, these, these guys need to be encouraged because a lot of times when people just leave you, you get discouraged. Amen. That's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you got some sort of a warning, y'all ain't saying nothing in here. Y'all quiet, but I still got joy. Y'all quiet today, but I still got joy. Come on, shout, I'm watching for my double. All I'm trying to do is tell you to watch for your double. Now, don't pitch a tent somewhere else where you think that was all over my toes. Well, move it off your toes and move home. that Elijah going to be your next leader. So he said, uh, you know, whether Elijah would or not, you stay here, boy, I'm going to go and handle this. And he said, I'm not, not on your life. Uh -huh. not on your, and, and the sons of the prophet were standing right there. And look what they came with. Knowest thou that the Lord's going to take your master from your head today? Did you know that? Did you know? Let me tell you something. Look at somebody and say, if you're working close to your leader, Ain't nobody gonna have to ask you, do you know something? You're gonna know. It's true. How many believe that? You're gonna know. So he says, Did you know that your master was gonna be taken from your head today? And he said, Yeah, I know it. Hold your peace. And I can see him doing it like that. Yeah, I know that you hold your peace. I can see Elijah get in position like, look, y'all talking to me at the wrong time. I'm trying to hear something. talking about? Amen. Amen. Look at somebody say, hold your peace. I'm trying to hear something. He said, yeah, I know it. I know it. I know it. Now hold your peace. Elijah said to him, Elijah said, you, you tarry here. Now he's going to try to leave him there in Bethel. He's going to try to leave him in Bethel again now. He said, you stay here. Uh, I pray for the Lord is sending me to Jericho now. And he said, as the Lord lived and as my soul did, I will not leave you. So they, again, come on, he ain't going to get disconnected from his leader because you talking about the Lord going to take you and you want me to stay here? I'm not tarrying nowhere. Uh, Father, son, uh, I'm going with you, Father. Amen. I, I got to go with you. I got to stay close to you because I got to be watching for my devil. Somebody shout in this house. Well, if I got three people in here, I know 